at Bitcoin Wednesday, Paolo Tasca, Dr. Paolo Tasca from the Bundesbank, uh, presented his research about what's happening in the Bitcoin world. And he had eight fascinating facts to share with us. The first one I, I thought was fascinating. Bitcoin has the highest transaction um, height of all the networks, uh, Visa, PayPal, anything. Yeah. Why is that? Well, basically because uh, the Bitcoin network is more used uh, for uh, international or uh, uh, cross-border transactions, it's not used for micropayments, and that's why we observe from the data these, uh, these results. Okay, so it is, uh, but the number, it, it's not a very big network. I mean, if compared to the 20 billion which is transferred every day with Visa, how big is it? It pale in, in comparison to Visa, that is uh, uh, around turning 20 billion uh, US dollar in transaction per day. Bitcoin is turning around 50,000, uh, 60, 60, 60 million, 50,000 transactions per day. So the, the figure doesn't match. Yeah. But still, uh, it is very important in terms of number and value of transactions, US dollar per transactions. Yeah, that's true. Now, th the second thing you've also analyzed, you looked at 70 million wallets, I think, and you tried to uh, cluster them and bring them together to business network and came yeah. up with an estimate of how Bitcoin is used. What is the number one and two and three uses of Bitcoin? Well, basically the most active users uh, are the exchange platforms. So uh, platform like Kraken, I don't want to say any name, but there are big exchanges that are leading the markets. Then surprisingly, we have a, a important role by black markets. So the companies that are uh, basically um, selling drugs and all kinds of illegal things. Web. Yes, they have a, a high concentration. They play a major role in the Bitcoin network. And then you have also the gambling industry that increased a lot during the last years. So uh, like uh, Satoshi Dai, they, they play a, a major role in the Bitcoin network. We so gambling and Black market. That is not very positive, uh, actually. Uh, and then it also is dominated by uh, China in any yeah. uh, way, right? 33% of all the transactions are in China and the miners dominate? Yes, basically we found uh, three metrics that uh, reveal that the Chinese um, uh, are the most active at the moment. So one is the mining pool, uh, they basically generate the most of the size. Then we have the number of Bitcoin clients, there's the largest over uh, many other countries uh, in the Western um, uh, parts of the yeah. board. And then we have uh, basically uh, the uh, volume exchange in the in the in the in the exchange markets is that three times the volume exchange between bitcoin and yuan is three times larger than the volume exchange between bitcoin and the us dollar okay so, so it's completely percent. dominated by the chinese in any shape or, or way and the fourth uh, uh, what other uh, what other parts of research came out of your research well uh, we measured the wealth uh, distribution so we observed that at the beginning back to 2010 the uh, bitcoin economy was a uh, uh, perfectly egalitarian, so uh, all the addresses and even at the cluster level, uh, the uh, Bitcoin were equally distributed. Now, instead, back uh, now to 2015, it's becoming normal. It's becoming very similar to the to the to the our uh, society, where you have basically few addresses that hold the majority of the wealth, and uh, the reason is still unclear. And uh, this will deserve uh, more investigation. Okay. We need more research. That's, uh, that's what scientists always say. Uh, the uh, the volatil uh, volatil uh, volatility, the volatility, volatility. volatility has become less, right, of yeah. the Bitcoin. It's more stable. Yes, the volatility went down. Uh, the uh, We measured the um, arbitrage opportunities across platforms, the major platforms, and within the same platform, in uh, both cases, the uh, volatility and the arbitrage opportunity decreased, mm -hmm. both in magnitude and in the probability. So this is a good thing. This yeah. is a good sign. So after two years of research, uh, I mean, is Bitcoin ready for serious work or will there be another form of Bitcoin based on uh, also what you saw of governance and uh, the problems of uh, the blockchain size? Well, <laughs> I think we are uh, still at the very beginning after six years uh, uh, and a half. Uh, it's too early to say, uh, to express an opinion on this. Uh, we are, we have seven emergence of proliferation of uh, different ledgers, uh, permission, permissionless, uh, uh, we observe uh, um, token-based, uh, token-less, uh, uh, different uh, application. I think that the key elements for the yeah, future... Yeah, but I mean, Bitcoin, is that just more a, fir a nice experiment and a second version will come and a third version and all kinds of blockchain experiments will uh, come and will become uh, seriously into a society? Or the, is black, uh, blockchain, is Bitcoin itself uh, important? Well, 
I think that um, the, the the key point is not that we don't need to focus on the on the Bitcoin. I think uh, uh, the point is that uh, we need to uh, focus on the what this technology is bringing to the society. And if we stick to the Bitcoin, to the to the to the possibility to have a token to exchange among each other with our middleman, this is not uh, bringing us anywhere because uh, we lose uh, uh, basically attention to other applications that could be very profitable for the society. Mm -hmm. So um, all the debates around Bitcoin, uh, I think, uh, is uh, very very limited. Uh, we should. Uh, move away to have a, to, to have a break yeah. and uh, to breathe and then to think uh, thoroughly about other application and other technologies yeah. but so it's more the technology behind it the blockchain is yes. really what's interesting and you're going now for you're leaving the Bundesbank and you're going to London uh, and you're going to s to found a, an institute uh, an expertise center for the for the blockchain what what is that going to do so basically this is a center um, a research center for blockchain technologies uh, at the University College London supported by seven departments is uh, um, basically uh, going to do abstract research fundamental research but is also going to provide uh, industry uh, um, uh, type of solutions, both uh, uh, not only f I'm talking about industry, I'm not talking about banks, I'm talking uh, across sectors, so uh, logistics, uh, telecommunications, uh, healthcare, and so on. Mm -hmm. And we want also to have on the on the on the on the as a partners also regulators and uh, um, regulatory agencies because uh, the the weak part uh, that we observed during the last years is the uh, lack of uh, communication sometimes that we that the industry has with the regulation and the vice versa. So this is a big problem for the proliferation of this technology. Wonderful. Now, the central banks, they normally don't speak out to a Bitcoin. They, the Dutch don't do that, the English. Uh, the, they say it's an interesting uh, phenomenon. Um, what does the Bundesbank say about Bitcoin? Do they say anything or do they just let you do research and have no official policy? Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the position of the major central banks. Basically, they, they, they are aware, they are awake, but they don't uh, have any official uh, political positions. They basically um, uh, promote uh, research, they promote investigations. Uh, so, um, and this is, I think, the right approach because at the moment it's too early uh, to, uh, to say something. The technology is too, too, too new and uh, um, yeah, it's too... True. But the Germans, the German Bundesbank is more liberal than the Dutch or the English. I mean, you are, as a Bitcoin company, are allowed to have normal bank accounts you know, in, in Germany. And it's not possible almost in Holland. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Also in Switzerland, it's very difficult in other European countries. Um, it's true. I mean, uh, um, so Germany yeah, is more liberal than other well, countries. You have to say that also Germans is uh, uh, are more also uh, much uh, linked to cash. So is the country in Europe that uh, used uh, most uh, most cash. So. Uh, Moving toward the uh, digitization of the money, it's not only um, a political decision, but it's also a cultural movement. So um, um, I don't know uh, if Germany would be the, the next uh, the, and the leading countries on these revolutions, but uh, certainly it will need a combination between a cultural movement and a political decision. Thank you very much. You're welcome.